folks, uh, we are here with Nick Brown and SVS, one of our favorite stops every year at Cedia. And once again, you guys are <laughs> breaking the internet with some killer subs. I mean, you've had multiple flagship launches this year, Nick. Yeah, this is a, a really exciting moment for SVS to be here at Cedia. You know, the integrator channel is super important for us, and uh, we didn't want to miss the opportunity to show off literally the most powerful, largest, deepest extending subwoofer anyone uh, from SVS has ever seen, and, and truly the we're bringing a level of technology and innovation to market that just really hasn't existed before. Yeah, so uh, folks, what you're looking at right now is a monster. I'm assuming this probably weighs Close to 200? That's right. That's uh, right about what it weighs. The motor itself is around 60 pounds. That's four toroidal ferret magnet motor uh, with a eight inch voice coil, dual eight inch voice coil. And uh, that's a really important factor for getting the level of performance out of this. Uh, yeah, what's the purpose of dual eight inch? Yeah, so we have, uh, we had eight inch voice coils on the original 16 Ultra, um, but you know, with the increased driver size, this is a 17 inch, hence the name 17 inch, uh, 17 Ultra. Uh, we needed just to be able to exact that much more control to be able to get that pinpoint speed and transient, that accurate frequency response. So we have a dual mono block amplifier that's basically feeding current into that dual eight inch voice coil. And that allows us to not only run it more efficiently, but also to uh, exact, again, a level of control over the driver that really allows us to deliver those low frequencies of precision, musicality, and not sacrifice any of the uh, detail from the sheer level of output that this thing can create. Now, in terms of the, the dual amps, is that a first for SVS? It's the first time that we've ever done it. And uh, I, as far as I know, it's the first time it's been done in the industry. And it, uh, yeah, it's you know, not something you hear about. No, and, and you know, it obviously has a benefit for the, uh, the voice coil design, uh, but really the other big important part of that is, you know, with a subwoofer of this size and this capability, you're up against what our normal 15 amp household circuit is able to produce in order to have a subwoofer function at its optimal capabilities. Sure. So in addition to having the uh, ability to really energize that voice coil, it also pretty much compensates for anything coming out of the wall because it's able to maintain enough power in reserve to ensure that the subwoofer can always operate at its peak performance regardless of what's coming out of the wall. So can you run more than one off the same circuit pretty safely? Yeah, no, a, yeah. a single 15 amp because circuit because it has power factor correction right. and a switch mode power supply, they're reserving enough current to be able to run yeah. duals off of the single uh, single household 15 amp. That is, uh, okay. All right, so this beast is the PB17. Correct. And uh, what's the price? Uh, so this one will be $29.99. We'll also have a sealed cabinet version for uh, you audiophiles and music lovers. Uh, that will be uh, I, that's right, right in my um, And one other thing I did want to talk about, I mean, I think with subwoofers, the brains, the DSP, it's yep. not the sexiest. People don't really think about a subwoofer. They want to know how deep it can play. Eight hertz, by the way, this extends down to 11 That's, hertz for the sealed. Wow. And the output yeah. is, you know, just immense, even at those uh, lowest uh, frequency levels. But the DSP, the brains that are in this thing, is a, it's incredible. It's the most sophisticated we've ever had in a subwoofer. It's five times more powerful than the 16 Ultras. It's a 295 megahertz analog devices DSP, which is something that you would typically find in an outboard home theater processor. And we put it into the subwoofer here to be able to do all sorts of advanced calculations to monitor the amount of current going into the voice coil, to make sure it has enough power in reserve, to deal with some of the heat dissipation from the incredible amount of current that's going through this, uh, but also to add some cool usability features. Yeah, well, well I was going to say, it's almost like having AI built right in. I mean, this thing it has its own brain. It's figuring all these calculations out as you are in your home theater room, just pushing it to the extreme, right? That's absolutely right. And so it's you know making sure that whatever issues you might have with AC current coming out of the wall, don't become something that would affect a performance. It's yep. making sure that you know when this is hitting those peak output levels from that action movie scene, it's able to maintain linearity and accuracy and frequency response. So it's really doing a lot, and I think it sometimes gets underestimated as far as the importance. But the other cool thing that it's allowing us to do, which is uh, a first for SVS, is auto room EQ, which is something that I know a lot of people have been asking for. Yeah, yeah, so tell us a little bit about that. It's not dropped yet, right? No, these will be available sometime in early October, most likely, and then the room EQ will follow shortly after that. But just using your smartphone or an external mic, 
connected to your smartphone, you'll be able to uh, do that advanced room calibration to really get these tuned in room because you know how much that can impact the performance and allow you to then go into the app and make those final tweaks. It'll be an over the air update, so not something you have to download or anything like that and really uh, provide another level of performance to really maximize on what this can do. Now, I know you had mentioned over there that uh, you might be able to connect something like a UMic One. Would that go directly into the sub, the back of the sub? It will be controlled through your smartphone mic or a mic, okay. or a mic connected to your smartphone. Okay. You're on camera. <laughs> the irony is that <laughs> there's literally flashing red lights That's right. That's on this camera and like, people are just completely ignoring like it. Moths. They're just attractive. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's called an attractive nuisance in the uh, legal world. <laughs> no. So clearly, like, so, we're beyond excited. I mean, we still have the port tuning capabilities with the PB17, so you can do sealed mode, extended mode, trade some of the output for low frequency extension if 8 hertz is not enough for you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, all of the, a lot of the, uh, you know, musicality, the, the things that people know for SVS has only been enhanced with this new DSP and the new uh, driver and motor design. When you seal this guy off, this is the ported one, does it behave exactly like the SB17 version, the sealed version? So it'll be very, very close. The uh, sealed cabinet is is always going to outperform it in terms of that transient response, you know, only by a, a slight factor. But this will get you as close as you can possibly get to that uh, that level of uh, accuracy and musicality of a sealed cabinet subwoofer. And it's a really popular feature because if you want to have this, you know, have your cake and eat it too, where yeah. you want that big over the top dynamic, you know, visceral impact of your uh, your home cinema, but then dial it back a bit to have that more music, you know, oriented, uh, you know, transient response, yep. then that's going to be possible too. And uh, through the app, you just do the variable port tuning, changes the frequency response curve, so they get perfectly dialed in. Yeah, plus if you're not quite sure what you want out of your subwoofer, this is a great option because you kind of have it all in one. So don't guess and go with the SB17, you go with this one sealed up on your own. That's absolutely right. It's another cool feature. And again, we're, we're constantly trying to push the envelope. You know, we've had our flagship speaker launch this year, the Ultra Evolution Series, now the flagship subwoofers. So uh, we're very excited. And if you know about SBS, you know there'll be some uh, trickle down technology coming in the future. Yeah. And I should mention too, the 16 Ultras will eventually be going away, uh, mm. but there will be an opportunity to get them, uh, you know, maybe for a little bit more an inclusive price. So. Uh, End of life will uh, be the last time you can get them, but be on the lookout for that. I happen to own four of those. You are glad, and they're and they are really fantastic subwoofers. So yeah, definitely keep your eye out for that. Um, I guess one last question for you, Nick. Everyone out there is hearing, okay, you've gone from 16 to 17. Does that mean the cabinet is a lot larger? So that's a great question. You may notice that the uh, front panel display that we had on the 16 Ultras is no longer here. So you know, because of the app and how uh, much it's been used and how much it's been improved upon, we just really didn't need the front panel display anymore. So now we're able to keep the cabinet about the same size as the 16 Ultra, but have immense more output, deeper low frequency extension, and uh, and all the benefits of uh, a larger driver, just with a similar cabinet size. So that's important for living rooms and yeah. in-room uh, experiences. Okay. so. So um, in terms of shipping, what are we talking about here? Yeah, so uh, early October time frame for when both models will be available in piano gloss. Then we'll have a black ash matte finish that will be available so shortly after that. Uh, $29.99 for this, if I didn't say it. $24.99 for the sealed cabinet version. And, uh, you know, again, we're just super excited to have these out there and, and hear what people think of them. Any chance that we'll see white? You know what, a white gloss, I will never say never. But uh, at this point, there is no immediate plans for the white gloss. Uh, it's currently the 3000 Micro and the SB1000 Pro, which is a bit of downsizing. That's what's available in white gloss. But uh, again, if you have enough of you guys asking for it, we'll never say no. I guess you could always get the gloss and just wrap it. That's true. Also, yeah, right? that's, that is something that people have done. They've done custom wraps and, you know, somebody uh, from our hometown did an Ohio State wrap. So depending what your team is. Oh, wow. That, that must look so amazing. It's really cool. It was a sports themed home theater and it really did look, uh, you know, totally dialed in the entire room. So, you know, something that uh, is worth checking into if you're interested. Cool. Awesome. Nick, great hanging out with you. Everyone at home, uh, like, share, subscribe to this video. This is brand new. Uh, news. So uh, definitely share it with your friends and uh, otherwise come hang out with us on our home theater form at avnirvana.com. You'll definitely learn something. <laughs>